Welcome back to Endless Space 2 as the Horatio. I've been playing a lot of factions that start with H, haven't I? Last time, we started out, and uh, we've started expanding out. I really wanted to colonize Farver, but the Academy was there, and they kicked me off of it. And um, I, won't, I won't live it down. Boils my blood. We've unlocked a new ship class. By a new ship class, I mean a ship class. <laughs> Got some cool stuff here. So this is a toxic planet. It has a geothermic anomaly. A little snow. Large ice. Huge gas. All right. Let's uh, let's colonize one of these Terrans. Which one's best? Looks like it's gonna be this one. We also colonize this arid planet in our home system, because it is rapidly filling with Horatios. Um, I guess I'll build the uh, Zeno Industrial Infrastructure. It's not that great here, because it's, it's plus 10 production per fertile, per planet, and per temperate. I, I would only be getting plus 20 from that. I also I think I'll build the Interplanetary Transport Network. reason for that is, even though I don't get nearly as much production, because I don't have any strategic resources here, I think it'll be very nice because of how fast my plants are going to fill up that I'm going to get production per person. But I think, I think it'll roughly even out. Maybe not, we'll see. This place is doing pretty good. I mean, it's already filled up a ridiculous amount. I mean, this planet might might get, might be full by, by the time this comes around. So I might even consider colonizing somewhere else. Yeah, my, my guess is I, I would probably want the ash planet. I don't know if I have the technology for that, though, yet. Like, I can do it, technically. Yeah, here we go. We'll throw that on the pile. How much do I need to assimilate this? 200. I need 200 influence to assimilate it. I'm looking forward to having a new type of population to eat, though. It's always, uh, very tasty. My hero is leveled up. For him, I think I'm gonna go with Optimal Operations Expert. Give me, give me production and food. Can make the academy assembly. So for my next hack, I guess maybe I'll hack the pirates. I guess I guess I guess I'll hack these guys. I am producing Hyperion, but it's not much to be honest. The deposit I found of it doesn't appear to be too rich. Alright. My Horatios will be a little bit happier now. I can move my fleets faster, and I can live on snow. And now I have a new population type. I have a Hiroshim, finally. This planet's, like, a basically full, so I should probably colonize uh, somewhere else. Do I want hostile fauna, or do I want a comatite, comatite volcano? They're both good in their own ways. I think I'm going to go with the desert. Let's 
to go with the uh, ecologists again. Some military technology. In the name of the heart and of harmony, the unfallen greet you. So we've met the um, the unfallen. They are a very peaceful faction. They tend not to start too much uh, wars on their own, but they also tend to play the politics game, drag people around into various wars. If I remember correctly, from I played them very briefly. Their their thing seems to be they benefit really well from being friends with people. I'm gonna do minus ten happiness on systems. Ratios are really good at producing happiness anyway. Ah, now I've discovered four systems outside of my main constellation. This is where the academy is, I suppose. Fingers crossed that the academy isn't there anymore, and maybe I have the opportunity now to uh, colonize there. I'm going to give a faster engine to my colony ship. It's still going to produce really fast. Huh. Now I have a Yusho here. I guess I should probably also build some um, an actual fleet We'll do that. I've unlocked Glorification of the Gorgeous. Appreciation of the Marvelous is important to Horatio, or how else could he appreciate himself? Once constructed, an annual Glitter and Gold celebration is held in the Palace of Impeccable Taste in order to glorify resplendent bounties of the Empire. Fancy. Sources. Speak quickly. All right, this guy wants money. I'm gonna give him. Uh, I'll give him seven hundred. This is as it should be. Okay, he's not there anymore. Found a bunch of anomalies that didn't pop up, but let me um, queue up this beautifier to head over there ASAP. Oh, here we go. So I found Hyperion. Transvine. Oh. All the remaining curiosities in Farver have been revealed. Alright, endless foundries. I found a Horatio. <laughs> Unlocked the Vault of Governance. That's pretty cool. Titanium Enhancer. More Transvine. Okay. Oh yeah, I should probably research something, shouldn't I? I'll research uh, Astro Finance, Multi-Thread Management, Autonomous Construction, probably Xeno Anthropology, followed by Hyperpax, I guess? So far, the pace of this game feels much faster than it was uh, previously as the He Show. I guess that really shows, <laughs> he shows, um, how Badly I played them, that the game kind of ground to a halt. Alright. Some extra money income. Specialization that will get me more. Now I can start doing basic system developments. Which can get pretty crazy. Guys leveled up. Give him that again. Yeah, this place is filling up really fast too. This is like crazy. I love it. 
I guess after this I should colonize the, the steps. I'm like running out of places to stuff all my Horatios. Next turn, it looks like there's going to be another um, Hiroshim that grows up. Which is going to be very nice, uh, because then I can splice them into my regular Horatios. I'm going to go with Xenotourism. Followed by, let's see, Happiness is in great shape. Generally speaking, the more Horatios you have on a planet, the happier it is. So there's kind of like a reverse effect that has compared to a lot of other empires. I'm happy I boosted the speed of my colony ship. I think that is going to be pretty big. Speaking of which, I should probably build some more colony ships. All right. We've reached the next turn, so now we can splice the Hiroshims in here, which will give me plus three food on all my Horatios. Unfortunately, it's at the cost of the Hiroshims, but um, such is the cost of perfection, I suppose. Next up is the Yushos. What do they require? To boost them, they need, uh, I think it's Voidstone. See, their gene splicing effect isn't that great, though, to be honest. It's just plus 15 defensive population. But, like, it's good for, like, defensive wars and stuff, but eh, I'm not really, like, wowed by that. How's this place going? It's a colony next turn. Guess I'll do this. Ugh, oh, grave defeat. You're hoping they can't attack twice. All right, we're gonna try the tundra again. I'm going to pay money so they get double food. And fingers crossed I don't get knocked off at this time. I'm going to take this fleet seven turns to get over there, so that's, that's not going to happen. Instead, I'm going to have them head over to uh, that system and attempt to knock them out. And them being the pirates. Okay. New population collection bonus for the Horatio. So the first one I got was just uh, a little bit of ecologist pressure, which is meh. The next one is plus 15% food on systems with Horatios. That's the good stuff. Karana has grown up. Let me just uh, build some stuff here to give it a little boost. And there we go. We'll check in with that one later. It's not going to grow up nearly as fast as uh, this colony. But, you know, I think that's okay. Okay. So now I have control over this constellation, which means I get the plus 15% production bonus. Ah, and you know what? I wasn't I wasn't quite paying attention. I need to uh Now we have access to the behemoths as a concept. And now I have enough influence to assimilate this place, right? Nope, they raised the cost on me. That's okay. My influence is, is getting, is improving over time, so I, I should have it pretty soon. Okay, we'll do that there. Build more ships. Ratios are also really good at manpower. 
I don't think they have any sort of like direct bonuses to manpower, but I think just generally because their playstyle is very much based on the collection of food, they're very good at uh, finding it or producing it on their own. Is there anything else? I should probably colonize Vega. It has uh, adamantium. This is all looking pretty good. I'm still a little worried about this, but I think my colony is doing fine on its own, yeah. Assuming the academy doesn't come by to bully it again. Oh look, it's here. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, don't you do it. Lucky Windfall is pretty good. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, this place is growing very nicely. Um, I might have to colonize again. <laughs> Why can't I hold all these Horatios? Planet's not really sterile, so I'm not going to get a ton of bonuses for anything in particular there. Spin project, I think, is going to be good there. And then I'll, I guess I'll colonize that spot. Alright, let's assimilate these guys. Pull them in. And there we go. Do some building up of this. Now I can eat the Yusha. Do I want to do that, though? Yes. Next turn, I'll have a nice new fleet here. I'm going to send this fleet over here to harass these pirates a little bit. We're going to colonize here on the Boreal. Alright, so I think with that, that is going to be it for this episode. This one's a little shorter, I apologize, but uh, thanks for hanging out, and take care.